and officials are asking people to listen to park staff, be patient, and be respectful of one another. Katie Hall with the North Carolina Division of Parks and Recreation says while well, the majority of campgrounds will now be open along with more boat ramps and other areas at state parks this Memorial Day weekend officials are asking people to be smart. We really want everyone to stay healthy. We want our staff to stay healthy. So, you know, if, if lots of people are going to be at the parks, we just want them to really try to be respectful of each other and respectful of park staff. Paul says it's important for park goers to understand that officials at state parks are trying their best to make sure that people are not overcrowding the parks and trails this weekend. She says parks like Pilot Mountain, Hanging Rock and Stone Mountain have all had to close their gates at one point or another because of too many people. And then we had several parks, I think I counted 15, that had to actually regularly close their gates throughout the day because their parking areas were full and kind of let one car out and let the next car in. And while Hall says she understands that so many people just want to get outside, especially during Memorial Day weekend, she says there is a chance you may get asked to come back at another time. In order to maintain social distance, we're not really letting people flood in and crowd the park as much as they might do on a normal holiday weekend. Hall says while the park staff is continuing to clean and disinfect, areas like picnic shelters and playgrounds will remain closed. Most importantly, officials are asking people to be patient and respectful to park staff. And if you see a barricaded road or another area of the park that is blocked off, do not go around it. And we're just hoping people are going to be really positive and upbeat and, and friendly. And we hope it's going to um, be a really great time for everyone. And for the latest information on state parks, you can enter our website, WXII12.com. In Winston-Salem, Justin Schreyer, WXII 12 News.